Let me see if I can get a couple of these videos done. This is from Carlin Christie. Greetings, Yvonne. Thanks for your videos. Question. When you speak of these realities being games, do you believe that the world we're in right now is a simulation? Literally like a computer sim simulation. Think Matrix. Many claim that this world is a simulation and that we're playing the game of limitation and duality in here. They say it's not real. A simulation because our true self spirits don't know limitation and in fact limitation is impossible for us some are also saying that lucifer well let me do this first one first um i've said this in a couple of other videos i understand why people would call this uh, not real from my perception and how i look at it i am the opposite way i think it's all real um but yes, it is impossible for us to actually be limited because we are gods and we are one. So it is a game playing like we have limitations. And that's the whole point of this creation here. There are many, many different kinds of creations available. But in this particular one that we're playing right now, um, it is based on limitation, the whole amnesia, forgetting that you're a god, and playing within those kind of, of guidelines. Now, I... How can I explain this? I look at it like this. Okay, think of, of like um, the internet. And you'd sit in front of a computer and you have access, if you've got Wi-Fi, and you have access to all the information that, that you possibly could want. And on the other side, outside of this human body, think that you have access to all of that. Every single thing that you can access on the Internet, you have instant accessibility and knowingness of it all at once. Then you come here and you get into the human body and now you're like you're on a laptop having to access the internet. It isn't that any of that stuff is not there all of a sudden. It's still there. But you're going to access it now through a laptop instead of just being the internet. So you can choose at any given time what you want to pick out of the all that is. Now, since you're here, there are certain rules that you've agreed to play by whenever you came here. Uh, like gravity and time space and all of that stuff. But all of that is true uh, by choosing just about anything that you want. Now, <clears throat> I understand why people <clears throat> talk game and illusion and simulation and it's not real. And I would not argue that. Um, I would say that that I can understand why they would interpret it like that. But for me, it is taking a part of what is and putting, uh, you know, it's kind of like having all of the ingredients or anything you ever want to make in your kitchen and you choose to make a meatloaf. So you go into the kitchen and you take the stuff out and you make a meatloaf. Okay, that doesn't make the meatloaf not real. The meatloaf is real. It's just you just took part of the stuff out of the kitchen instead of, having all the stuff that's in the kitchen. And that's more how I look at it. I look at it that the limitation aspect is absolutely true. That instead of just standing in the kitchen and having access to all the food, you've chosen to just choose certain things. And you can do that by changing timelines all the time. And when you change timelines, you're going to match a collective that agrees to you uh, with you, a different aspect of beings that agree with you at any time and place. And that has always happened. And it is happening right now in a big way. As people go through their chosen timelines or experience and they choose what part they, what, how they want to make their meatloaf, so to speak, then people will change their, they'll, they'll decide that they want to make meatloaf and somebody else will change their mind and decide, okay, well, I want to make uh, uh, spaghetti instead. And what you'll do is you'll split off and you'll go into different groups. 
and you'll stay with the collective that agrees to make meatloaf with you. Or they want to change their mind and make spaghetti with you. Is this making any sense whatsoever? So from the perspective of the other side that we are, everything is, is all at once, we are all one, we are creator gods, then um, absolutely we have access to all that is. And coming here is definitely a very limited option. The big thing being the amnesia and time space to have this experience. And there are many different reasons of, of coming and having this experience. The long-term humans really, really, really enjoy uh, this dualistic experience with all of its limitations. And they really uh, live life after life after life after life from many, many different perspectives, figuring out it to the very, very tiniest, tiniest um, differences that are available to that. Uh, and it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. So, uh, yeah. I think that answers that, or from my perspective. And absolutely, there's a bunch in The Matrix that is, there's a lot of truth in that movie. Um, we may go into that a different time. Now, let's go on to the next one about Lucifer. Some say also that Lucifer, the dude who pretends and believes that he's the big kahuna, creator of everything. Now, to me, the, the entities that I met over there, Jehovah was the one that thought that he was the big kahuna, that he created everything. And he really didn't want to have much of a conversation with me. He was very much Old Testament Jehovah God, um, bowed down at my feet, I speak, you listen, very patriarchal in that sense. And so there wasn't very good communication between us, there wasn't much, you know, back and forth. He was very much, I'm the boss, and that's that. Um, I do use names in what I experienced, and whenever I died, and I used names, <clears throat> I could have used any old name for that matter, but the, the guy that originally came up, the original creator of the idea of this particular game, uh, of duality and amnesia is, and I just call him the creator of this game. Um, and he kind of is in charge or kind of has walked through on what you would call the good side or the light side. And I call his best friend Lucifer, which is dangerous, uh, mainly because I looked at some of the energies around that and it it does match in a lot of ways and um then lucifer would be the one that's kind of keeping an eye on the dark side or the bad what a lot of people would say bad side um that's where i put him is is he's working opposite of the creator lucifer is and then jehovah was just created he's definitely in the fourth dimension and he definitely believes that he is the creator of everything and he should not be questioned on that and then there were a uh, great many different versions of jesus's uh, that were very complicated <clears throat> that i just kind of skimmed through of course on the other side there's no such thing as time so basically what i saw was the creator of this game, which is huge, all of the dualistic amnesia game uh, creation, then he, once that idea was started, once anybody comes up with an idea of a creation, very quickly other creator gods will just come and join. And they'll say, oh, that sounds like fun. I want to play too. And they will join the, the uh, experience, the game. And that's kind of what happened. There's the creator, and then very quickly his friend that I called Lucifer, and I don't want to offend ever anybody or get anybody ups upset about it, uh, call him Joe, the creator and his best friend Joe. And the creator kind of hangs on to the one side of this dualistic game, and his best friend Joe uh, hangs on to the other side as this was created. Now, this was a very long time ago compared, I mean, whenever you think time-space, uh, 
when the whole thing was originally started. Then down below that in the fourth dimension are what I would call Jehovah God, and that very definitely is Jehovah, Yeshua, um, old man on a throne, uh, very definitely thinks that he is the creator, but again, he's just another entity playing a role. He's playing his role in the game too. And then Satan was the opposite of Jehovah in the fourth dimension, who was... Uh, much easier to talk to, but then that's what his gig is, is to try to convince people of his way is better than Jehovah's in the dualistic game. And they were both in the fourth dimension. And let's see. And then Lucifer. I don't know if you're talking about the same Lucifer as I am, but let's move on. Has turned this simulation into a time loop erased our memories from each life, and then after a little over a thousand years, he starts the loop over with, and we start with it reliving the same thing. Okay, I would say that that um, explanation is what I identify as the reincarnation of humans, and that would be very similar in that a lot of people that have opted to play the game in the reincarnational loop uh, where they just keep going and going and going and going, and versus an incarnation, which is not looped. It's not looped. If you're in the reincarnation loop, then frequently you, the people that are in the reincarnation loop, they frequently see a tunnel. They frequently will see um, God, Mary, Jesus, um, uh, saints, archangels, uh, a loved one, um, and they will frequently go back and live another human life and st re reincarnate over and over and over. And that depends upon which game they're going to play. Some of them will do it with the karmic belief system that they believe that they've got to, uh, if they do something wrong, they've got to keep living it and living it until they correct it. Uh, like I said, the game itself is beyond this lifetime on this planet right now. The game is much, much bigger than that. So <clears throat> if the person is playing uh, the reincarnational loop game based on karma, then they will reincarnate over and over again and gradually move up, improving better and better and better till they uh, finish the game that they as they wish to play it. Uh, <clears throat> I, of course, did not do that because I... This is my first incarnation here, and so I, when I died, I didn't have any of that experience. But I did see it a lot. Uh, so there have been a lot of humans that have done the reincarnational uh, time loop. Ultimately, whether or not that is being controlled by Lucifer, if it is con controlled by Lucifer for anyone who it is controlled by, as you describe it, then the person who uh, is playing that with Lucifer agreed to that game just like Lucifer did. So, do you understand? So, whatever, th there are so many different ways that you can play the game. It's not simple at all. It's very complex. But when it comes to reincarnation and karma and all the different religious beliefs um, and NDEs when it comes to religion... All of those are very complicated, and frequently the reincarnation, karma, uh, experience has been played by many, 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 many people. That is a very, very common uh, way to play this game on this planet since this planet started. And it, it is continued on other planets now. Uh, there are now many other 3D planets available in this creation for anyone who wants to continue the reincarnational 3D to 4D loop. They can continue to do it on other 3D planets when they die from here because this planet is on its way to a different vibrational state. But any entity who wants to continue this kind of experience can continue to do so on another planet. It just keeps going. 
Does that make sense? I hope. Let's see, was that it? Uh, see, again and again and again until we awaken and realize it's all a simulation and that we're unlimited beings and we can get out of this prison and return to true home in 5D. Now, I, that's what I was reading. 5D is not um, true home. 5D is just another dimension, okay? And it's across all of this creation. It's a dimension in this creation, just like 3D was, 4D was, 5D is, 6D is. For any star seed, most star seeds, about all of them that I have met, uh, whether it was energetically or email or however I've met them, all of them are not from this creation at all. They are from outside this dualistic creation altogether. So 5D is a part of this creation. It is where Gaia, as a planet, is almost completely in the fifth dimension. But there are also many, many other dimensions um, that are available in this creation. And you can also go outside of this dimension whenever you die. So let's say you're a starseed, you come here, you do play the game, do the job, whatever it is you're going to do, and you die. At that time, you can leave this creation altogether and go back doing what you were doing outside of this creation. Or you can reincarnate back on this planet and continue um, to the other dimensions and stick with this planet doing that. Or you can incarnate on one of the other 3D planets or many, many other things. Do you understand? 5D is not home 5D is the next dimension after the fourth dimension in this creation. It is where Gaia, uh, a lot of star seeds, have come to correct the energy grid, raise the energy grid, increase the frequency of the energy grid on this planet so she can complete her transition into the fifth dimension of this creation, which is where she plans on sticking around for a while. Does that make sense? Now, you as a, uh, as a creator God, you have so many different options, and you always will. So, all of the stories that you hear out there are all valid stories. They're all accurate. You get to choose. So, um, <clears throat> because there are so many stories going on, and it is so complicated, when I'm talking to mostly starseeds, because anyone who listens to my videos know that that is who I'm primarily speaking with <clears throat> on the job that I'm doing here. And when it comes to star seeds, um, as long as you're in pretty heavy amnesia, uh, the easiest way is to just be a little bit happier tomorrow than you are today. And eventually, gradually, the amnesia will start to break away and you will start remembering things because that's what happens as you raise your vibration. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, be sure and ask me questions because I kind of followed through this and tried to answer the questions, but I may not have understood your question. If I didn't, ask me again and I'll try again. All right? Sound good? All righty then. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huge hugs. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.